see this eye doesn't blink and then smile. Can't move. <laughs> it's Candy Cat and Baby J and welcome to the Unicorn Family. <laughs> So, so what happened, baby? It looks a lot better. Um, it actually does look a lot better, as you guys can see. Well, I can actually smile now. Um, just my no my nostril still doesn't go up, and then my eyebrow, right? Yeah. At least you blink. And now I can blink. Yeah. In the beginning, I literally could not blink. I had to patch my eye at night because it was like so dry and stuff. And um. Not only that, but I lost taste in my tongue, which is crazy. Um, and I basically, we had to find a hospital in Japan. Yeah, just should... walk us through it. First, first, first. Okay, so first, we... It, it was the night, no, it was the morning that we went on the flight. Yeah, so I woke up and my this side of my face felt really weird and like... Like, I would say, like, numb. Um, but honestly, like, there was so much going through my mind. Like, you know, we're, I'm, going, I'm literally flying for the first time in, like, years. Like, I don't even fly to New York just because, like, you know, I'm, like, super anxious and stuff. So we just decided to go to Tokyo last minute. We were like, let's just do something crazy. Um, and I've always wanted to go there. So, yeah. Um, and so, anyways, this side of my face was totally numb. Honestly, I thought that I, like, fell asleep, like, wrong. You know, I, like, slept on that side and, like, it's numb, whatever. Like, who cares? I'll be fine. But then once I got on the flight Bro, slash the next like morning. Almost hanging. Yeah. But it, like, completely still. Um, not only that, I lost taste in my tongue. I still cannot taste. My tongue is, like, numb, it, uh, tasteless. Um, I don't have COVID. Um, so anyways, when we woke up in Japan, it was really, really bad to the point where... And we didn't know really what it was. Yeah, I mean, this has never happened to me before. And at this point, I was like, I tried to stay calm through the whole flight and everything. The flight was great. But then I was like, okay, like, this is really bad. Like, I thought I was, like, having a stroke or something. It was really scary. But I was, like, trying to stay calm for, for you and for Rodeo. Um, but anyways... Oh and it, it, it hurt it too, no? When you were touching it? <laughs> yeah, it, it hurts. It still hurts, like, when I touch it. Um, so anyways, my mom was like, you need to go to the hospital, like, ASAP. So, rem mind you, we're in a foreign country. We had to find a hospital. We went to, like, three different places. All of them were like, you know, if you don't have Japanese insurance, we can't help you. And also, they didn't speak English, so we, I was just, like, translating on my phone. Um, so then finally we found like a good clinic that was like, okay, we'll help you and they had to write a letter in Japanese Basically like referring me to the hospital saying like it's okay to like see me so this took like f uh, It took a really long time. All she day. wrote a letter. I'll show you a picture here. I took a photo of it here um, So then this letter was able to get us into the hospital and once we got to the hospital um, You know you have to s everything is in Japanese but they got us in, they got us, like, specifically for a doctor, like, ear, nose, and throat doctor, um, and they were so kind, I was so lucky, um, they were really nice, they talked to me through everything, they basically, you know, put me on medication, but there's not much you can really do with Bell's palsy, um, it will just, you know, take about three to six months to recover, maybe longer, just depends on your body, and you can basically get this from lack of sleep and stress, which is, like, crazy. Um, I guess like like two nights before like three nights before I didn't really sleep well because I was like so nervous and amped about Tokyo um, but I mean I never in my life expected that my the left side of my face would literally get paralyzed from it um, it's still crazy and shocking but um, I don't know I, but what I, did you find out then mama on the TikTok when you posted the TikToks I don't know this this whole thing really just like made me analyze and 
it really sucks that sometimes when like bad things happen to you it makes you like really like think and like take a step back and like whoa like what just happened um and it just like i was think i had so much time to think and the medication that they gave me um steroids literally gave me such bad anxiety and insomnia so i could not sleep at night for like weeks and so i was just like up all night thinking crazy things and it just like really made me think about like my role here in in life like you know like what do i want to be remembered as like why am i here like what message do i want to bring to the world like what kind of friend do you, do i want to be and like like all the people that were like messaging me i was like wow like you know like there's some people that i thought were my friends that didn't even message me and then there was people that i didn't even know were like you know cared about me um that did reach out to me and i was just like wow like you know like what kind of friend do i want to be what kind of people do i want to be surrounded by um and it's you know when you live in los angeles when you're a creator an influencer or whatever sometimes you can get really caught up in this world and sometimes you think you're invincible and like nothing can hurt you and nothing can happen to you but the truth is that life can change in literally in a blink of an eye so what are you doing today to be a good human to be a good friend to be a good wife to be a good daughter um and like if something were to happen which you know god forbid it it doesn't but i don't know if it does like who who do you want to be remembered as what type of person and human are you and i realize that sometimes like la and just my job in general has like made me um I would say like sometimes be a type of person that like I'm not really happy with you know and there's always time for improvement and so basically what I'm trying to say is that I learned a lot from this I learned a lot about other people about myself about what I want to bring to this world and what type of person I want to be and um yeah I think yeah pretty much <laughs> <laughs> and also when we started uploading on TikTok we saw that a lot of people Yeah and like honestly at, at first I really regretted posting it honestly um you really motivated me to post it but then I was like wow like um it's so common I mean so many people uh, have told me that they have had this that they've have had this after their pregnancy that it's super common for pregnant women to get this after pregnancy um that like 13 year olds have have gotten this um due to stress and like not sleeping sorry <laughs> and it's just like it's crazy because i had no idea what this is like uh, i had no idea what this is and so I, i'm really happy that i posted it and if i motivated motivated you to keep going to stay strong um i'm really glad i did that and if you're still struggling with bell's palsy um you got this you can stay strong and remember um you know as much as physical appearance is like so in nowadays what really matters is what's inside and what kind of person you are and um you know i was like thinking like what if my face does stay like this like who's going to hang out with me like is my management still going to want to manage me like are these girls still going to hit me up to hang out you know like i don't know and that really got me thinking a lot and um again if you did message me you know who you are and i really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and if you didn't message me and you have pretended to be my friend you also know who you are and um yeah this could happen to too <laughs> it's crazy also sleep and be a good human be a good person and be a good friend and um don't let Los Angeles get to you and social media get to you because um fame, money, etc, appearances, how you look is not important. Um family is everything and your health is very important and you are important. Um so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for supporting us. Um I am like three weeks in, I think. Three weeks in, I think, I believe. Um, so I'll continue keeping you guys updated about how I feel. Um, thank God I am not on steroids anymore. I chose to not take them anymore just because they made me feel so bad and gave me horrible anxiety. So I'm done with that. Um, so for now, I'm just, I'm resting. I'm taking it easy, taking life day by day and just um, being grateful 
that I'm alive and I have two feet and two hands and that's all that matters. So thank you guys so much. Um, subscribe and um, we'll see you guys next time. That's it for today. That's it for today. We love you very much. It's movie time now, but for you guys, you stay on YouTube, watch all our other videos and stay uh, till the next video because it's coming very soon. It's coming very soon. Thank you guys so much for all the support and don't forget, be yourself. Be unique. And to be a unicorn. And we'll see you next time. Bye!